safe. Yeah, their license was not stopped. What was stopped was their operation. And it was stopped because the law says that if there is anything noticed not to be in tandem with the policy, the, the regulator must stop and recertify to make sure that they are in compliance. You cannot have security and safety without funding it. It has to be funded. If you take safety, for instance, you need to have infrastructure that addresses that. If you're talking about security, you need to have infrastructure that addresses that. And all that must be sustained and, and must be maintained. And if you do not do that, then you're just not being sincere. And then in, when you talk about the, the, the issue of renovation, the, the terminal itself is the first safety and security facility that any passenger comes across. We do not pray for accidents, but it's, it's inevitable. But all we do is to do everything to ensure that we do not have accidents. But it's an act of God. Again, we do not speculate on the cause of accidents. Until that happens, you can't say this is the cause or that is not the cause. But what is obvious and the truth is the fact that in aviation there are shared responsibilities. Starting from the man that carries your luggage to the man that makes sure that your boarding pass is issued to you and so the regulatory agency the the, the operators the the management everybody have their responsibility and all must work in tandem for there to be an optimal secured and safe aviation sector and that is what we've been working there is no seminar there is no conference where nigeria has not been given uh, what we call exemplary rule